Hello, and welcome back to Nick's Hobbies and Interests. It's that time again, it's Monday, it's another one for the train playlist, Mind the Gap. Today we are going to be looking at my favourite train in my personal collection. It's from Hornby, I've had it oh, probably, well, I would take 15 years I imagine I've had this for, if not more. Back when I bought it, it was £50. I believe I got it in a shop called Domino's in Leicestershire, a shop that I no longer believe is actually still there. I'm sure they left the town centre a long time ago. You may have already seen that it is a Class 9F. I don't know. I'd have to go back through my photographs and see if I have a real live shot of the real thing. I don't think I do. I've seen multiple steam engines in my life, but I don't know if I've actually got a photo still lying around of a Class 9F. Now, I've had this hauling many coaches on, I think, most of my layouts, whether it's just a tabletop layout or something on a larger scale like what I was building previously. This engine in particular, amongst my collection, still remains analog, it's still DC. I do plan, and here's an update for you, I do plan to have this running around in the apex on the roof of my cabin, because I went back down there just the other day, and the temperatures have raised, or risen, since the last time I was in there. It was now that bit warmer, to the point where you can get on with work without your fingers just freezing and, well, becoming stiff. So yes, I plan to get back down there sooner as possible and start working on the model or train set until it becomes a model. I'm just going to call it a train set. The reason that I might go up into the apex is because that would then free up my entire baseboard below for other projects and other things. Whether I want to build dioramas, whatever I want to do, I've got plenty of space. Also, another benefit of doing it in the apex of the roof, one key benefit of this would be that the new setup will cover the circumference of the cabin, the entire cabin. 20 foot by 14 foot is going to be a nice size layout if done properly. I am possibly thinking of moving what's down on the baseboards now up into the apexes. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the track layout again and just see how I can make it work because everything's of course got to go in between the supports of the roof. Like I say, I've got plenty of track line around that Pico expansion tracks, those um, flexible ones, they cover up a long length and they're not that expensive either. And then I've got plenty of point work, so I, I don't think track is going to be my problem. Uh, initially I'm going to set up two, two lines going around the entire cabin. That will be very simple when it comes down to the electric side of things, and that should be operational, well, as soon as I can get the boards up, I'll put track down and try to have a running session for you very soon. I'd like to say next week, but I don't want to promise something I can't deliver. Anyway, that's an update on the cabin, that's an update on my plans for the track going up into the apex. Thank you if you got this far. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell if you wish. And of course, as always, take care.